This is Tony G. I think you should take your coach, get a tandem bike, and get the hell out of here. Hmm. This is awful. What Tony's doing is horrific. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Come on, Russian, get out. It's time to go. Yeah! Look at this. Look how he's doing. Look how he's playing. Look how ugly this is. You're a professional player, and I can do this to you. You are a terrible player. This is Mikita Bajakovsky. That's it's over. It. We have a champion. Mikita Bajakovsky. Yeah, he's just an absolute beast. He's one of the best Nolan Mithola players in the world. Uh, he is such a friendly guy. Yeah, great Nolan. character. Two very different poker players. While Mikita started as an online player and quickly climbed up to the highest stakes and has been crushing live games as well, the question with Tony G is, how good is he really? Whenever he plays, can we expect to see some good plays from him? Or will we just witness another blow up and some trash talk? This is disgraceful. Does the G stand for grandiosity? Or can it also stand for GTO? In this Triton Cash game, the two face each other in the hand when Tony opens the small blind with Ike in the big blind and Mikita in the straddle. The game is 2k 4k with an additional 8k straddle. Tony opens to 22k and Ike causes Jack 10 off in the big blind. While Tony's open is a little too loose compared to the solver's approach, it's still in the region of reasonable hands to play. Ike's Jack 10 off is within the solver's calling range and we see Mikita also enter the pot with Queen 7 offsuit. This is far from the GTO solution that the solver suggests. It might be that he's not aware of that, but maybe he is also just loosening up his range significantly because he thinks he can outplay one of his opponents post-flop. If I had to guess, I'd say he wasn't planning on exploiting the game theory specialist Ike. The flop comes King Jack 7 Rainbow and Tony starts off betting his top pair. Assigning both Tony and Mikita wider ranges than what the GTO preflop solution would be, the three-way solver simple three-way agrees that King-9 is frequently bad for this size. Of all three players, the small blind has the most high cards in his range and hits this rather dry flop the best. So apart from his top pairs and better, he can easily bet gutshot and open in its straight draws, as well as bottom pairs and even some pure ace highs against two pretty wide ranges. Just one call from Haxton. Just as played, Ike's Jack 10 is a call, as is any pair and any gutshot plus in this spot. The action gets to Mikita, who also calls. The 7 is good occasionally, as long as Haxton's got some straight you are a terrible play. draws. He's going to continue as well, he's got position. Which is again not what the solver would have liked to see. Any Queen 7 offsuit combo heavily prefers folding and only rarely likes to go for a bluff raise. However, we can see that lower 7x hands like 7-8 through as low as 7 deuce always continue. This might have to do with the fact that the queen blocks some of Tony's bluffs, but probably the main reason is that a queen can be a bit of sweet out for Mikita. Not only would a queen on the turn or river make him two pair, it would also often make either Tony or Ike an even better two pair or complete one of their straight draws. A 6, 5, 4, 3 or a deuce on the other hand are much less likely to improve either one of them as their ranges are much more high card heavy. So folding queen 7 and continuing with low 7 axes would decrease the chance of ending up in a setup. The turn is a deuce and Tony continues to barrel for around half pot. Tony G is reaching for a lot of chips. Again. This play is supported by the solver, as King-9 and every other top pair mostly bets. If given 30%, 50% and 75% as size options, all three are used almost equally often. Against Tony's half pot bet, Jack-10 is almost purely folding. Not only does Ike have to worry about Tony and his relatively strong range, he also knows that Mikita is still left to act and could have a strong hand as well, or decide to bluff raise. That's why he can only really continue with his top pair plus hands and good draws. Mikita is instead last to act, which allows him to call with every jack x in his range and even some 7x. However, again, queen 7 is a worse hand to call with than 7-5, 7-4 or 7-3 and would therefore be purely folding on the turn. Now it's on Bozikowski. A 
very weak pair. You, you play, play that, that as, as bad, bad as, as you can. can. Your, Your career, career is finished. finished. And a lot of tension going on. Tony G is actually quite silent in this hand. Wow. It is going to call here a third pair. River card Small is the boys. eight. <laughs> we still end up getting to the river where we see Tony's king nine now mostly being a check. Against a range that called two bets in a three-way pot, king nine simply isn't winning much by betting anymore. So the solver would rather check and bluff catch against the bet. Still, betting isn't terrible and Tony does go for the thin value. Top pair, the nine kicker. 120,000 euros. Bring, Bring more Russians on. Feel the power. Do you, you feel, feel my power, power baby? They're going to cover it. Very kind. Is this how you play? Blame game. What's crossing Baze Kelsey's mind is... You are gone! 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 On your bike! Is this how you play? You are gone! 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 Raises to 400,000. Wow, what a sick play. Now, Mikita obviously didn't follow the GTO approach in this hand, which may or may not be an intentional deviation. After all, the best players don't blindly memorize solver outputs, but rather try to adjust against certain opponents. No kicker. Oh. Wow, he snap calls pretty much. On the very last hand, I'm the best! The best! Yes! The best! Yes! The best! Wow. What a looks. He bluffed me, huh? The Belarusian, huh? Not good enough for me in cash games, buddy. I'm gonna destroy you! Nice Why you bluff me? You got a seven. However, in this case, we have to give it to Tony that he not only played close to GTO until the river, but then also made a non-GTO call when his opponent was apparently bluffing more than optimal. Now, if you want to see this guy in action, who actually is considered to be the best, this video will be exactly for you.